Well, hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to the second video of my four part series where I will be updating my gaming setup from an Asus Stuff A15 laptop to a gaming beast of a PC. Now, if you missed part one, be sure to check it out. Um, also, if you're new here, my name is Tushar, the channel name is Sleepy Rogue. And the first video we had talked about my current setup and why I thought, you know, that it's time for a serious upgrade. Uh, but today we're talking about the big question if you should really build your own PC or just buy a pre-built one. I know there, are, there is some perks with both of those, but that's what we're here for. We'll cover them. So I did some serious research uh, comparing prices from various PC builders in London. And I'm going to show you a discrepancy that I've not noticed, which was the massive difference in cost for the same exact build. Now, spoiler, spoiler alert, obviously building your own gaming PC is much, much better. Although I've not done it yet, but I'm super excited for it. So let's get into it. So why you should build your own PC? Well, first off, it's all about control. When you build it yourself, you choose every part from the CPU to the case fans, you know, getting the exact setup ready, doing a lot of research, and that is a journey in itself, which I quite really like. And obviously it comes with no compromises, no unnecessary bloat, but it's 100% exactly what you envision it. But not just that, probably the biggest reason is cost. So when I started looking at pre-built options, uh, I found that the same exact parts I wanted, the price varied quite a bit. Now, for a first time PC builder, it is a big thing because A, it's a big investment. You go through the whole process of, you know, researching, but also you don't want it to go wrong, right? Because these parts are very sensitive. It's like building a whole new machine and just with static electricity, you can short your motherboard. So it's a little scary, but it's also very rewarding uh, when you build it. So in this video, we will cover about seven different PC builders in London. Now, there obviously are more who say that they are the best custom PC builders. But uh, from what I've noticed, these are the one with the most ratings. And if you think that I should look at more PC builders, then just pop it in the comments and we'll take it from there. All right. So without further wait, let's jump into the comparison and just look at the price discrepancy. Uh, before I show you the comparison, I'll also show you the PC parts that I had selected earlier in my build. So here is the complete list and the final price comes up to 1733.87. So roughly we should say like 1750 pounds. And that is what we will compare if an all white build is possible because generally an all white build is slightly more expensive than an all black build. So, right. First one on our list is called Cyber PC. Now I've already prepped up everything for the same exact part. Now all white PC build, I really didn't get much flexibility in choosing the parts I really wanted. So currently the price comes up to 2,150 pounds, which is um, I think 400 pounds more than expected. But I'll also show you the parts that I've gone for. Um, the one month free is, it's a free thing that they offer. So included in price, I'm not paying any extra for it. NZXT 86 Flow, um, CPU 7800X 3D, um, Cooler Master 240L. I selected this specific one, which is also, um, 65 pounds. The one that I wanted wasn't really there with the LCD, but that's what I've selected just to keep the comparison equal to what I have. Uh, motherboard, the exact motherboard that I had wasn't really available with them, but MSI X670E over here is roughly the same price as my, it's, it's 210 pounds and the one that I had selected was what, 190, so 20 pounds more, nothing too crazy. Um, a memory stick again, 32 gigabytes, DDR5, 6,000 megahertz, that's RAM. Then we didn't really have the Zotac all white version over here that I wanted, really wanted. So we've selected MSI GeForce version of it. It has two fans instead of three and the price comes up to, I think close to what we have, 750, 7, 780 pounds. So again, similar. Uh, for the PSU, we have RM850, which is the same exact one. The SSD, which I had selected was WD Black. They didn't really have it, so we've gone for two TV Kingston. And apart from that, it's all 
the general stuff no accessories selected now i have selected a windows 11 home which uh is quite expensive on the microsoft's website but if you go to this website called nine key so nine keys.com you can see that there are various windows options that you can get i personally think that i might go for the windows windows 11 version over here and it's close to 20 dollars right and if you look at the complete price it comes up to 2150 pounds which is a 400 pound difference uh let's get into the next one so now we have something called pc specialist here in the uk uh i have gone for they have they, ha they had some better options compared to cyber pc in terms of flexibility on the parts that i wanted to choose so we will see how this bill goes um it costs us 2097 pounds but just for a fair comparison i've gone for a pc case which is close to 90 pounds 95 over here uh, 1700 x3d our motherboard is the same 32 gigabytes corsair vengeance rtx 4070 ti so, but this is slightly better as you can see that we have a zotac rtx 4070 ti as an option that we can select which is always a nice thing to add uh, gpu brackets come included 2tb corsair ssd and um, same Corsair 850 watt power supply, no extra cables, nothing, not, no braided, no personalization. Uh, the one thing that really was surprising that I wasn't able to select the thermal right uh, AIO. They don't really have much options there. So just went for the standard Corsair at 60 x which was 65 pounds, as you can see and the thermal light was 67 again keeping the comparison as fair as possible uh sound card it's all on board network card on board on board wi-fi so and obviously windows 11 no monitor nothing and the final price as you can see above it comes up to 2079 pounds so compared to our custom build this is roughly 350 pound more expensive which is still a price of an rtx 30 or rtx 4060 if you think about it right so next one in the comparison is chill blast i quite like their website and the, com the i could select more parts over here so still like the ui and everything of chill blast here we've selected the nzxt at seven flow uh, they didn't have H6, but the H7 flows price was £94, so roughly similar, selected. CPU 7800X3D, my graphics card, an RTX 4070 Ti. They didn't really have the option to choose between a Zotac or any other supplier, so I don't know which one I'll get out of those. Uh, for the motherboard, I have gone for the B650 Aorus, uh, which was close to £200. Similar price as what we're expecting. Uh, memory, we had gone for G Skill Trident because that was the most affordable for the thing that we're looking at, which is 6000 uh, DDR5 and 32 gigabytes and also CL30. So if I scroll down, you'll see the cast latency is CL30, 30, 38, 30, and 96. So I think that's for each RAM channel. So CL30 was there. So that's good. Uh, for SSD, we have gone for the 2TB Crucial P3, which is £123. And I think the one we had selected was coming up to 90 or £100. They had the 1TB WD SSD that we had, but they didn't have the 2TB variant for it. Or I think the 2TB TV variant was more expensive. No, they didn't have it. Cool. So that's why we selected the 2TB Crucial. Uh, for the power supply, same 850-watt Corsair rm oh sorry 850 watt corsair rme cpu cooler now this uh i had selected the deep cool le 520 i don't know which one is it it certainly isn't the one that i wanted but the price is the same 67 pounds uh over here i haven't selected windows yet but for a fair comparison let's select the windows and yeah i think that should wrap up everything obviously volunteer everything comes in all right, so something really crazy is they are charging us five pounds 
for installing our software. Now, is that too crazy or not? I don't know. Uh, pop your comments in the pop your comments down below, and we will see how we feel about it. Cool. So I think that ends our custom bill, and the price is sorry. Probably have to scroll a bit more so that we can see it better. Let me just change my webcam above. And if you see here, the price of the custom PC is close to 2,300 pounds. Now, I think I can probably build a RTX 4080 Ti Super PC in that price, because that's massive. I think that's close to 600 pounds of a price difference. So will I recommend this? We'll see in the end. Cool. So let me just move my camera back down again. And we will move on to the next one over here, which is, I think, Overclockers. All right. So Overclockers had the most expensive or was the most expensive out of all, close to 2,600 pounds. That is close to a 900 pound price difference. And what should I say about this? I have no words. <laughs> That's insane. But again, to show you the price, I think the case that I was looking at wasn't there. None of the NZXTs or the MSIs that I had selected. So I went for this one. Now let's say the case that I had selected is super expensive. So we can cut off probably a hundred pounds over here, but still that's a big price difference. The, C the CPU is the same. The motherboard is the same. The MSI, the cooler, we had gone for MSI Mag Core Liquid, which was coming up to close to, I think 90 pounds. So roughly similar, uh, Corsair Vengeance 32 gigabytes, C30, 6000 megahertz dual channel RAM, our Zotac RTX 4070 Ti Super. Well, glad they had that option at least. Um, our, I couldn't really select a different power supply. I had to go for a thousand watt all across. Like I don't see any 850 watt options. So, well, we can maybe cut off a hundred pounds more over here for that power supply the ssg is the same and we are going for windows 11 and look at the price 2580 will i recommend it yeah probably not but let's move on to the next one uh now we have cc or pc builder sorry so the ui looks quite similar to our pc part picker so i thought the prices would be the same but was i wrong yeah definitely so processor, same 7800X3D, 650E motherboard. I don't know, the motherboard's price over here is 424. And I think maybe the discounts don't apply. Although if you think about, a lot of PC builders have partnerships with a lot of brands. So they definitely get a lot of these prices for way cheaper. I don't know why there's a huge price discrepancy or maybe I'm not selecting the right thing. So yeah, happy to know how everyone feel about it. Uh, right, the CPU cooler. 69 pounds for this box. Now I really didn't want to buy it, but if you look at all the options, they didn't really have much. Let me just see. They had all of these fans over here as my CPU coolers, but the first thing that I really liked was the NZXT Kraken. Now that's 135 pounds, um, which obviously didn't have an LCD and everything. So we went for a 69 pound one, again, just to keep the price same or what i think is same uh the case is nzxt at six flow the same exact graphic card we could find that that's good uh over here the ram is 6000 megahertz strong team group not the same one but the price is the same 120 ish pounds which is not too massive because obviously you need to you know think of the factors that they are putting some manpower in it so obviously a hundred pound price difference 200 pound price difference is fine but a massive five six hundred i don't really understand why that is the case so and the next one is the ssg same ssg we could find and the power supply is 227 pounds which is too expensive i think if i go to my pc part picker the power supply doesn't really have a price mm -hmm. i remember correctly it was close to 99 or 100 pound so nothing too crazy. I don't know why this is being charged 230 pounds. Cool. So the next one in the list is CCL. 
Now they also had some nice customization that I could. And as you can see over here, the case is NZXT at seven floor, which comes up to the same price. RTX 40, 70 Ti Super, 7800 X3D, all the good stuff I could find. This was the first website where I could find the thermal right frozen warframe. Now they had a good price for it, 70 pounds. I wasn't getting it from Amazon, uh, getting the same price at Amazon, but this was very good. Uh, and the SSD is the same, 2TB, SN770, 850 watt power supply from Corsair, Windows 11 and warranty. The price difference is again 2300 31 which is close to i don't know five six hundred pound difference again massive uh and i think this is the last one in our list we had gone for a pure white bill uh, uh, uh over here i had selected my ryzen 1700 x3d cool master aio 4070 ti 32 gigabytes, same SSD, everything as we've already seen, and the price comes up to 2,395 pounds. So yeah, from that list, as you can see, the price ranges from 2,200 pounds to over 2,600 for the same exact bill, which would cost me close to 1,800 pounds, including the power supplies plus, the power supplies price. And I feel like that price difference of 600 pounds is literally enough for a whole new gaming monitor, you know, or upgraded peripherals. And we're not taking, talking about just a few extra features here and there, it's just the same exact setup. And when I saw these numbers, I had to go for the DIY route. And obviously not only am I saving money, but I get to customize everything and the satisfaction of building the PC myself. So it's, it's priceless, right? Up to the list of the top three PC builders. Now I know that building a PC isn't for everyone, and if you're someone who doesn't want to go through the hassle of you know picking the parts and assembling it, I've got you covered. So here is the list of my top three pre-built builders from London that actually gave a decent option without breaking the bank. First place, we have PC Specialist that is a bang for the buck, or not, not completely, but still. So close to 2,080 pounds was what the, they were cost, what the same parts were costing us. So definitely better. Second one was a uh, cyber power PC. Same exact build was costing us uh, £2,150. And I think they just say that they do better testing. So that's why they're charging that price. Yeah, and for the third one, I think we can go for the website or the PC builder is called PC Builder, which was costing us close to £2,200. But at, at least it's better than £2,600. So yeah, I think these company offer somewhat a decent pricing compared to the others and probably can be great options if you're looking to save time and avoid the stress of building. Um, but obviously, ultimately, I have decided to build the PC myself uh, and I will hopefully save hundreds of, hundreds of pounds. And I think the child in me really wants to build it myself. In part three, I'll walk you through the entire build process from unboxing of all the components to the final setup. If you're excited to see that, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out. And if you're thinking of building your PC, just drop any questions in the comments. I'll be happy to help you out because I've done a lot of research and I'm rooting for you. So see you in the next one and thanks for watching.